Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Conquer Through Christ. We conquer through Christ. And in this video, I want to discuss, are you following God's training plan for your life? You know, a lot of us ask God for strength. We ask God for patience. We ask God for wisdom. We ask God for financial blessing. We ask God for a lot of stuff. And when you ask God for something, trust and believe he's working on it. He's working on it to give you opportunity for you to be able to attain that. You know what I'm saying? And I always look at our relationship with God with my relationship with my kids. You know, when my kids ask for stuff, and that may be a little bit too much, I, I try to test them. Like, KG asked me for a cat, right? And I'm like, a cat is a lot of responsibility. So, I'm like, before I get him a cat, let me get him something else that's a lot easier to maintain, to help acclimate him, to, to taking care of a cat, but also to see if he's even willing to put in that work to take care of a cat, which he didn't. Because you see this take behind me? Yeah, this is what I got him. I got him a lizard. That he didn't take care of and this was a test and this right here to show me like yo you're not ready for that and you know but that's that's what god does you know god when we ask god for patience right he doesn't just naturally make you a patient person you know he he gives you he gives you difficult people to deal with and for you to exercise your patience you know it's like a, it's like a program that he gives you he gives you like a training program and a lot of times that we ask god for something and we're not willing to follow the, the training program that he's given us. Instead, we're complaining and fussing. And we're, we're whining and moaning and groaning. When instead, we should understand that our father loves us. And anything that we're going through is to benefit us. It's like with KJ. He, I, I can see in his face, he was annoyed. And he wasn't ready. Yo, miss down the lizard. Feed the lizard. Give it water. Clean the cage. Do this. And him is like, man... I don't even want to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? This is a lie. I can see him. I, I'd rather do this than that. You know, and, it, and he start complaining and he start pouting and it's just like, yo, you want a cat. A cat is way more work than this. If you can't handle this little bit of responsibility, you can't handle that cat. So you're not getting that cat. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is that we'll be asking stuff from God to where God will prepare you and train you for it. But instead of going through the training and, and going through the process of developing those skills, you start complaining, you start pouting, you start moaning and groaning. You know, a lot of people ask for a promotion at their job. And, you know, God has start giving you more responsibilities to handle. So you, when you do get that promotion at your job, you're not overwhelmed. You know what I'm saying? But here, handle situations like handle this. And instead of saying, okay, I'm gonna handle it and I'm gonna delegate and I'm gonna, I'm gonna properly handle these situations, we complain and start saying we're overwhelmed. This is too much. I'm getting too much I can handle when it's like, bro, God is preparing you, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people will want a relationship, right? And but God to put a situation in front of you is way, all right, before you before you get before you get in a relationship, take care of your siblings. Learn to love your siblings. Learn to deal with your siblings. And instead of you knowing your siblings in preparation for your spouse, you're fighting with them. You're arguing with them. You're you're not you're not coming to resolution with them. So God not gonna see you a spouse to ruin you and ruin that person when you can't even handle your sibling. And that's what God does. You know, we ask God for stuff and it, it can come in many different forms. But that's why, you know, we always have to trust God and trust that he has our best interests. You know what I'm saying? You know, the Bible says that even though we're wicked, right? We're, people are naturally wicked compared to God, but we know how to give good gifts. He said, which one of you, when your kid asks for bread, you would give them a stone? You know, and if we are so we who live in sin can give good gifts, why do we think less of our father? You know, why why do we think he don't want the best for us? He 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 is love. You know what I'm saying? So don't think for a second that whatever you're going through is that he left you, he forgot about you. No, a lot of times is that he just developing you, and you're just so and because you have no faith because the complaining. And the, and the bickering, the whining, the moaning, the groaning that you're doing is because you don't got faith. Because if you knew, okay, God is preparing me for this, you wouldn't complain. You would embrace it. But because you don't trust him and you don't believe in him, you start complaining about the situation instead of enduring and knowing, okay, once I get through this, I know for a fact my father's going to give me that. And that's the whole thing about not following the program. We go off the program and we start complaining or we try to find easy ways out. We just start leaving situations alone, like with the sibling situation I brought up. And instead of coming to resolutions and learning how to love your siblings through difficulties, you cut them off, you ignore them, you avoid them. And that's not preparing you for a spouse. That's preparing you for a divorce. And that's what God don't love. So why would he give you a relationship if you're not trying to develop those skills before you get that? 
And this is, and these are all things that I learned, you know, a lot of times after I pray, stuff would just don't happen. I'm like, yo, I just prayed. I, is, you, you ever notice when you pray for something, that area get attacked, right? I pray for patience. For some reason, everybody's getting on my nerves. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I pray for strength. And then out of nowhere, difficult things start happening to me. I, I pray for a financial blessing. Out of nowhere, I got to start being tight with my money. And the funny thing is, is that anytime something get it, like something gets hit and something get hard, it's never to destroy me. But it's enough for me to work through that, you know. And that's the thing; it's never, it's not gonna be, a, it's not gonna be nothing that's gonna destroy you. Like when I work, and, and that's the thing too. Like when I, I work out with KJ because I'm trying to get him strong. I'm not trying to kill him, but I am gonna push him to his limit to in, in order for his muscles to grow. And that's what it is. The, the things that you go through in life is not to kill you, is not to destroy you, is not to really take you out. It's to develop you. It's enough resistance and it's enough tension, it's enough problems, enough for you to have to develop a, that particular skill that you're asking for. It's enough stress for you to develop that, but not to destroy you. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not his plan. He wants you to grow. He wants you to prosper. He wants you to get it, but he don't want to give you something that you're, that you're just going to squander and not appreciate. All right. I hope this message was a blessing to you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, go follow my TikTok, my IG. Like, subscribe, and share this video. And I'll catch you on the next one.